Hi everyone, this is Jesse from Vectorworks. Let's take a look at truss cord loading and how this works with Braceworks calculations. First, what we have to do is configure our Braceworks settings and preferences. These settings at the bottom of the dialog control the Braceworks rotational or tilting calculations. You can include point loads and distributed loads based on their positions on the cord, and you can even turn the calculation off completely. This just removes the expanded reporting. The key thing here is the maximal allowable tilting. This controls the threshold for how much force is applied at a 1 meter distance from the center line of the truss. 0 0.01 kilonewton meter is about equal to 1 kilogram applied as a rotational force 1 meter away from the truss. So let's change this to 0.5, which is the equivalent of roughly 50 kilograms and is a much more realistic value. We can now begin calculating the system. This works just the same as it would for a regular Braceworks calculation. Calculate all objects takes a couple of seconds. As you can see, we now have a warning message saying maximal allowable tilting has been exceeded. And it gives you the direction of uh, how the truss is going to rotate or tilt around its axis. This is a yellow message because it's still safe to hang. It's just not going to hang the way the designer would like it to. So let's turn off the glasses to make this easier to correct and change into a top line view. We can now just drag these lights onto the other cord and rerun the calculation. And I'm going to use the context menu repeat command here. Because I've turned the glasses off, it hasn't displayed the results. So I'll turn these back on. And as you can see, we're now within the threshold. The display is the same in 3D and 2D. The arrow shows the direction of the rotational tilting. So it's still going to be slightly out of balance, but nowhere near as bad as before. Follow for more tips.